any serious penguins do we have? Ready? One, One two. two. How many silly penguins do we have? We have One, two, three, and four. If this is all about numbers. You know, I have a lot of numbers on my tape. I want to see your numbers. Everyone say two plus four equals We've been doing work in early childhood education for over 30 years, and about eight years ago, we moved into the STEM curriculum. The arts is the most effective way to reach children at the early childhood stage. Wolf Trout received a grant from the U.S. Department of Education to provide our early childhood STEM learning through the arts program. With the grant also is a study. There are two areas of the study. One is to look at the effect of arts integration on children's math learning. The other is to look at the impact of arts integration on teachers' professional development in terms of their actually applying arts integration to teach math skills for young children. It very much is a central belief of our foundation that by affecting children at an early age, we are going to prepare them better for whatever they might choose to do later in life. We were looking at how to be intentional with our instruction using arts integration to support science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM. And we focused first on mathematics because that is the foundation for all STEM learning. The performing arts and math fit naturally together. We made a rhythm. Music is full of comparisons, and comparisons is a skill in math that young children need to learn about. So you think about music, fast and slow music, high and low music. Dance is all about patterns, and patterns is the basis for algebraic thinking. We partner a teaching artist who's a professional performing artist who's had training with us with a teacher in the classroom. We're helping those teachers to understand how they can facilitate this type of learning. One, two, three. That sound was a short sound. One, two, three. I had a math residency earlier, and we talked a lot about patterns. I could see that learning, not only during that time, but throughout the day and everywhere while they're eating lunch, and they would make some patterns with the, with the food and food they have. Uh, they would make some patterns with standing up and sitting down, playing their own games, and they can really internalize that what really pattern means. When it becomes more kinesthetic, I think the students remember it more than anything else. There's clearly a need in this country to prepare young people in STEM fields. The findings in the report are significant and important because there's scientific evidence that the Wolf Trap program has a positive impact on the lives of children and their understanding of math and the professional development for teachers. Our STEM program produces higher test results in children in math. And to see a kid open up and blossom in the course of a 16-week residency, it becomes very clear that the arts is a very effective way to reach children at this very pivotal point in their development. They are singing and they are using the chants which we use in the Wolf Trap residencies. So that is that tells me that it's making a huge impact on them. Here's what I learned. Oh yeah. Here's what I learned. Because oh, it's yeah. not only that they're learning the concepts in a fun way, but they're also taking it home. So by the time they reach third grade and, and, and the testing grades, they already have that love for math. So uh, I think that is really huge, focusing the residency on math. Mm -hmm.